After missing the second part of 2012 due to a left knee injury, Rafael Nadal returned even stronger in 2013, winning 10 ATP titles overall including two majors and no less than five Masters 1000 crowns to conquer the ATP throne once again and finish as the year-end number one player for the first time since 2010. He won three out of six matches against Novak Djokovic but all four versus his greatest rival Roger Federer, three on hard courts and the first at the ATP Finals. Roger always had the edge over the Spaniard on indoor courts and he beat him four times in a row at the season-ending event before the semi-final encounter in 2013 that Rafa won 7, 5, 6, 3 in an hour and 20 minutes for the place in his second ATP Finals title match, losing to Federer in three sets in 2010. After winning his second U.S. Open crown, Nadal was ready to battle for the crown in the rest of the season, which wasn't always the case in the past, and he competed on a high level in Beijing, Shanghai and Paris despite not winning any of those tournaments. In London, Rafa defeated David Ferrer, Stan Wawrinka and Tomas Burdick before this Federer clash and he dominated against the biggest rival, breaking him four times from his many chances to seal the deal in straight sets and book the place in the final. Spaniard served at 77% and he lost just 15 points in 10 service games, saving 3 out of 4 break points to keep the pressure on Roger. The Swiss struggled to keep the pace with Rafa and he failed to make enough damage with his first serve, winning only 8 out of 20 points after missing it and also losing ground in the most important points as he failed to save any of the break points he faced. Overall, Nadal had 28 winners and 21 errors and Federer couldn't follow that pace, standing on 29 winners but also 37 mistakes, outplayed by strong and persistent shot-making from the other side of the net. Unthree like in their previous indoor clashes, Federer was unable to create the difference with his serve and forehand and there was no way he could stay in touch in the baseline rallies against the rival who tamed his shots in the best possible way to emerge as a winner in just 80 minutes. After three wins in the round-robin stage Nadal had the confidence on his side and he stayed calm after getting broken while serving for the opening set at 5-4, breaking Roger for the second time in a row in the 11th game which gained him the momentum that carried him towards the win.